vast icy expanse of the Alpine Mountains, a discovery was made that would forever change our understanding of the ancient world. This is the story of Utzi the Iceman, the mysterious discovery and unexplained death, an extraordinary window into our distant past. This is the story you haven't heard. Welcome to the Facts Intrigue channel. Before we dive into today's fascinating content, we have a small favor to ask. If you enjoy our videos, please consider subscribing to Facts Intrigue. It's a simple click for you, but it means the world to us. We love hearing from you, so don't hesitate to leave a comment below. Share your thoughts, insights, or even just a hello. We read them all. And if you find value in what we do, please give us a thumbs up. Your likes help YouTube's algorithm recognize the importance of our channel, ensuring more people can discover and enjoy our content just like you do. Thank you for your incredible support. It keeps our channel thriving and our community growing. On with the video. Imagine stumbling upon a body frozen in time, a silent witness to a long forgotten era. This isn't the stuff of fiction, but a remarkable reality. Welcome to the world of Utsi the Iceman, a well-preserved mummy from the Copper Age. Sealed in ice for over 5,000 years, Utsi is a prehistoric puzzle waiting to be solved. In 1991, the heart of the Alps, a German couple, while on a hiking vacation, made a startling discovery. Unbeknownst to them, what they had stumbled upon was not just another hiker fallen victim to the harsh Alpine conditions. What they had found was a relic from the past, a mummy that had stayed hidden from the world for millennia. Utsi, as he came to be known, was found remarkably preserved, frozen in a glacier near the border of Austria and Italy. He was named after the Utztal Alps, the very region where he was discovered. The discovery of Utzi was no ordinary archeological find. It was a time capsule, a window into a bygone era, transporting us back to the Copper Age, around 3300 BC. Preserved in the ice were not just the physical remnants of Utzi, but also a wealth of information about his life, his culture, and the world he lived in. His tools, his clothes, even the contents of his stomach, all provided invaluable insights into the daily life of our prehistoric ancestors. But as with any great discovery, the unveiling of Utzi brought with it a host of questions. Who was he? How did he end up here? And perhaps most intriguingly, how did he die? The discovery of Utzi the Iceman is more than just an archeological find. It's a journey into the past, a quest for knowledge, a testament to the unending curiosity of the human spirit. And as we delve deeper into the mystery of Utzi, we unravel not just his story, but also a part of our own history. Thus began the extraordinary journey of unraveling the life and times of Utzi the Iceman. Our story begins on a fateful day in September 1991, high up in the Italian Alps. Two hikers, Erica and Helmut Simon, were making their way through the picturesque landscape when they spotted something peculiar protruding from the ice. At first glance, it seemed to be some sort of rubbish, perhaps left behind by a less considerate explorer. As they approached, the object took on a more distinct shape. It was brown, leathery, and unmistakably human. Startled by their find, the couple initially thought they had stumbled upon the unfortunate victim of a recent mountaineering accident. But as they looked closer, the Simons noticed something strange. The clothing, the tools, the entire scene seemed out of place, as if it had been untouched by time. The body was encased in ice, perfectly preserved in a natural time capsule. This wasn't a recent casualty of the harsh Alpine conditions. This was something far more extraordinary. The Simons had no way of knowing it at the time, but they had just discovered Utzi the Iceman, a mummy older than the pyramids of Egypt. Named after the Utztal Alps where he was found, Utzi is one of the oldest and best preserved human mummies ever discovered. The couple quickly realized the potential significance of their find and alerted the authorities. As news of the discovery spread, the scientific community was abuzz with excitement. Here was a unique opportunity to peer into our distant past. However, the initial reaction was one of skepticism. Could this really be a prehistoric man, frozen in time for over 5,000 years? The idea seemed almost too fantastic to believe, but as the evidence started to pile up, the truth became impossible to deny. What was perceived as a tragic recent event turned out to be a discovery straight out of prehistory, 
Utzi the Iceman wasn't just a fascinating archaeological find. He was a window into a world long since forgotten, offering us a unique glimpse into the life and death of our ancient ancestors. Utzi was not just a mummy, he was a treasure trove of archaeological information. Indeed, the discovery of Utzi the Iceman was akin to finding a time capsule frozen in the Alps from the Copper Age. Alongside Utzi, archaeologists unearthed an array of artifacts that were astoundingly well-preserved. These artifacts weren't just random objects either. They were tools, weapons, and personal items that Utzi himself used, and they give us an intimate glimpse into his life and the society he hailed from. Firstly, let's delve into Utzi's toolkit. It comprised a copper axe, a flint knife, and a quiver of arrows. The copper axe, in particular, is significant because it's one of the earliest known examples of copper metallurgy in Europe. This tells us that Utzi's society had advanced to a stage where they could mine, refine, and craft with copper, an important milestone in human history. Then we have Utzi's personal items. These include a birch bark container, possibly for carrying embers, and a pair of snowshoes. The snowshoes are especially fascinating as they indicate that Utzi was adapted to life in a snowy, mountainous environment, and they provide us with a glimpse into how people of the Copper Age tackled such challenging terrains. Last but not least, let's talk about Utzi's clothing. He was found wearing a coat, leggings, a loincloth, and a cap, all made from different types of animal hide. The fact that Utzi wore garments made from multiple animal species suggests that his society had a broad knowledge of the animals around them and knew how to utilize their hides for various purposes. So what does all this tell us about Utzi's life and his society? It paints a picture of a group of people who were not just surviving, but thriving. They had the knowledge and skills to exploit their environment, to craft tools and clothing, and to navigate through the harsh terrains of the Alps. Utzi is indeed an archaeological goldmine. His belongings provide us with a tangible link to our ancestors and offer us a window into a time long gone. Each artifact, each clue, adding another piece to the jigsaw puzzle of Utzi's life. As researchers delved deeper into Utzi's past, a chilling pattern began to emerge. Peeling back the layers of this prehistoric wonder, the scientific community was abuzz with excitement. However, Vility is a part of the story of the Iceman you haven't heard. An eerie shadow started to cast itself over the joy of discovery, as a string of unexplained deaths began to be associated with those involved with Otzi. The first to meet an untimely end was Dr. Rainer Henn, the forensic pathologist who placed Otzi in a body bag with his bare hands. He died in a tragic car accident while en route to a conference where he would discuss the Iceman's preservation. The circumstances of his death were eerily strange, and speculation arose of a curse. The second casualty was Kurt Fritz, the mountain guide who led Dr. Hen to Utzi's icy tomb. Fritz perished in an avalanche. He was the only one of his party to be claimed by the snowslide, further fueling the rumors of a curse. In addition, Fritz was the only person at the time who could accurately point out the Iceman's discovery location in the Otztal Alps. Then came the death of Rainer Holzel, the journalist who filmed the recovery of Utzi from the ice. He succumbed to a brain tumor, and while no direct connection to the Iceman could be established, his death was added to the growing list of those seemingly touched by the curse. Then the next to go was Helmut Simon, one of Utzi's actual discoverers, went missing during a freak blizzard while on a hike with his wife in the Alps. His body was found days later, having fallen more than 300 feet to his death. We might point out in the very mountains where he had discovered the Iceman. Normally, scientists rely on science and don't believe in curses. They believe on what the science tells them. However, following these tragedies, whispers of a curse began to circulate. It was as if, because Utzi's resting place had been disturbed, those involved were paying the ultimate price. The pattern continued with the deaths of Conrad Spindler, the first to examine Utzi at the University of Innsbruck, who succumbed to complications from multiple sclerosis. The seventh and final death was that of Tom Loy, a molecular archaeologist studying the Iceman's tools and who discovered human blood on Utzi's clothes and weapons. He died of a hereditary blood disease, which had lain dormant until the time of his involvement with Utzi. 
Each death, shrouded in mystery, deepened the enigma of the Iceman's curse. In total, during that same period of time, seven individuals, all linked to the Iceman, all meet untimely and in some cases, unusual ends. It was a chilling correlation that sent ripples of unease through the scientific community and beyond. As a result, the pattern of fatalities sparked curiosity and fear in equal measure. The question of Utzi's curse, whether rooted in superstition or reality, remains a tantalizing and haunting mystery to this day. The saying goes, truth is often stranger than fiction, and this couldn't be truer in the case of Utzi's curse. As we peel back the layers of each of these incidents, we at Facts Intrigue find even ourselves asking, were these mere coincidences, or was there a more supernatural force at play? The ambiguity surrounding the deaths only adds to the intrigue of Utzi and his seemingly haunted legacy. Each death, shrouded in mystery, deepened the enigma of the Iceman's curse. The line between coincidence and curse can often be blurred, especially when it comes to Utzi. Now we find ourselves at the crux of the enigma. On one side of the spectrum, we have the skeptics. To them, the deaths associated with Utzi are nothing more than an unfortunate string of coincidences. They argue that the number of people involved in the discovery and subsequent research was vast. Statistically speaking, it would be expected for some of them to pass away over time. They also point out that not all the deaths were unnatural or unexpected. Some were due to age or long-term health issues. On the other side, we have the believers. They argue that the circumstances surrounding some of the deaths are too peculiar to dismiss as mere chance. They point to the sudden and unexpected nature of some of the deaths, and the fact that many of them were related to the mountains, Utzi's final resting place. Some even propose a scientific explanation, suggesting that the researchers might have been exposed to ancient bacteria or viruses preserved in Utzi's ice tomb, leading to their untimely demises. Then, there are those who stand in the middle, the undecided. They are open to both possibilities, acknowledging the string of deaths as unusual, but not necessarily supernatural. They agree that further scientific investigation is needed to definitively prove or disprove the existence of the Iceman's curse. The debate over the Iceman's curse is a fascinating one, a cocktail of science, history, and the human propensity for storytelling. It's a testament to the enduring allure of Utzi, who, even 5,000 years after his death, continues to captivate our collective imagination. While the debate continues, the intrigue around Utzi and his supposed curse remains. Was it mere coincidence, or was there more to these deaths than meets the eye? Let us know in the comments below what you think. Do you think the deaths are coincidence or a curse released by the uncovering of Iceman himself? Despite the controversy and mystery, Utzi's legacy is undeniable. This well-preserved mummy, unearthed from the icy embrace of the Alps, has gifted us a rare and intimate look into our prehistoric past. Delving into Utzi's life and times allows us to tread the path of our ancestors, to understand how they lived, what they ate, and how they interacted with their environment. His body, preserved in remarkable detail, has become a living textbook of sorts, offering insights into the Copper Age around 5,000 years ago. From the tattoos etched on his skin, we learned that body modification isn't a modern phenomenon, but a tradition spanning millennia. These markings, possibly related to pain relief, hint at rudimentary forms of medical treatment. His clothing, made from an array of animal skins, paints a vivid picture of the materials and techniques used in garment production during his time. Utzi's stomach contents, a last meal of ibex meat and einkorn wheat, revealed the dietary habits of his era and showed us that our ancestors had a balanced diet that included both meat and grains. His tools and weapons, crafted with finesse, shed light on the technological advancements of the Copper Age. But perhaps the most poignant of all lessons from Otzi is the realization of our shared human experience. His life, filled with trials and tribulations, joys and sorrows, is mirrored in each one of us today. He had parasites, suffered from health problems, he had a hearty meal before his untimely death. These everyday details create a tangible connection between the past and the present. Utzi's legacy is not just about facts and findings. It's about the human story, our story. 
It's about understanding our roots, our history, and our shared journey. It's about knowing that in the grand scheme of human existence, we're not so different from our forefathers. In the grand tapestry of history, Utzi the Iceman remains a fascinating thread, forever binding us to our distant past. As our journey into the enigmatic world of Utzi the Iceman concludes, we're left to ponder the delicate balance between ancient mysteries and modern science. The tale of Utzi is not just a story of discovery and research. It's a narrative that bridges 50,300 years, connecting us to a past that continues to whisper its secrets. The deaths surrounding Utzi may remain shrouded in mystery, and while some call it coincidence, others feel the weight of a curse. Whatever the truth may be, Utzi's legacy transcends time, offering us invaluable insights into our shared human history. Thank you for joining Facts Intrigue on this captivating journey. We hope this exploration has ignited your curiosity and brought new perspectives on the stories hidden in our past. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe for more intriguing content. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest explorations. We appreciate your support and look forward to bringing you more fascinating stories from around the world. Until next time, keep seeking the truth and unraveling the mysteries of our fascinating world. This is Facts Intrigue, signing off.